Let's relax today and talk about Gladiator. Now, Gladiator is my first, but definitely not last, detour into the Marvel Universe. He's a part of the Shi'ar Imperial Guard, which in itself is an homage to the Legion of Superheroes. Long live the Legion. He's the team's equivalent of Superboy or Mon-El. And yes, Mon-El will obviously be discussed on this series at some point. Now, Gladiator has a lot of Superman similarities beyond just the power set. His real name is Kalark, which is obviously a reference to Kal-El. He is one of the last members of an alien race of super beings called Stronians. And obviously his costume shares several details. Also, the name is a reference to a proto Superman character, Philip Wiley's Gladiator, basically a power for power inspiration for the Golden Age Superman. Now, aside from his hair, which I understand stands out quite a bit, the thing that differentiates him from other Superman types is how his powers work. Confidence. See, Gladiator was a kind of test case for John Byrne's ruminations on Superman type powers. They're psychic in nature, but all focused around augmenting his physicality. As a result, his invulnerability requires him to maintain an unwavering belief that he'll be fine. This would be a precursor to other psionic Superman type characters like Miracle Man and the Con L Superboy. In terms of his personality, the character is usually presented as more lawful than good. He's been an antagonist often because of his allegiance to a sometimes hostile alien government. Not that he's a bad guy, just that he does what his government tells him, and that government has quite often been at odds with our heroes. Later, he became the Shi'ar Emperor, and we got to see a discussion of superpowers versus political power and how they were different tools for different jobs. All in all, he's not my favorite Superman analog, but solid. Plus, he actually got to be in the X-Men cartoon. Some Superman analogs are one and dones. They make an appearance, they tell a story, and then we don't think about them again. But Gladiator has been popping up in the Marvel Universe since the 70s and continues to have an impact. It just goes to show you can do a lot if you're confident.